He is my hiding place. He's still a strong tower. Let's see. But I feel like my papa a pleasure. Hello Precious Blessings, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here today, my name is Chokofata Precious and in this channel we are doing all things fashion, makeup and lifestyle. If you think that's a cup of tea, go ahead, click the subscribe button, also click the notification bell to be notified each time I upload a new video. And for all my returning subscribers, my regular degulars, thank you so much for joining the family once again. So in today's video, I am shooting a get to know me actually it's like 25 facts about me i wanted to actually ask you guys on instagram what you would like to know about me because i did film something like this before although the channel has grown so now i think i need to film another one because we have new subbies over here so i wanted to ask you on instagram but I felt like I wasn't ready for the kind of questions you guys are going to ask me. I know you guys can be deep, hey? So I was like, let me rather get the questions on the internet and then film it. When I'm ready, when I'm ready, I will ask you questions on Instagram and then we can go deeper. Otherwise, let's get right into the video. I already did my eyebrows because eyebrows takes long and I don't want this video to be long. Also, I just want to get straight to the point. I am filming this video using my back camera because if you're an OG, you know I believe in quality, okay? So, my makeup has not changed. My makeup routine has not changed. I don't even have new products. If you're an OG, you know my makeup routine. You know the product. The only thing that I don't do now is I don't do eyeshadows like that. I also don't do eyelashes as much. I do them. Actually, I don't do makeup as much lately. Um, I remember when I started this channel, we started with makeup. So that's why I wanted to shoot this, get to know me doing my makeup. I remember when I started my content creation career, my niche was a beauty. I was focused mainly on beauty and fashion. But as I grew, I realized that I didn't have enough money to keep buying the products and the clothes to show you guys the latest trends as an influencer. So I decided to switch things up. And the switch has really worked for me. I switched into more of food and lifestyle content creator i shoot more vlogs on i mean yeah i shoot more vlogs on my instagram and tiktok and since the switch my career has grown my platforms have grown and i'm really really proud i think i know what i'm doing now i really really know what i'm doing and i believe i am good at it otherwise i'm also grateful for you guys support you guys support me so much especially on instagram and tiktok the growth is amazing um yesterday i was going through my youtube studio and i realized that we've hit 3,000 subscribers <laughs> i'm super grateful guys for your guys support we've also hit 100k followers on tiktok and we are close to hitting 50k on instagram i'm super grateful i know that i don't stretch this enough on my platforms and most of the time when i pray i'm like god thank you for the people that you have brought to my platforms to help me grow they are nothing short of amazing they are really really supportive people and I pray that God bless you guys so much because I know I'm good at my job, but I wouldn't be where I am without you guys. So enough rambling. The only new thing that I have is this. I bought these sponges. These are for when I am baking, but we're going to use that later. So let's get right into today's video. I have 25 facts here that I got on Pinterest and we're going to go through them one by one. Right. So... My routine has not changed as I've said. We're going to start with my eyes. I'm so clumsy. I feel a bit nervous. It's like I haven't been talking at the camera like this for a long time. So that's why I feel a little bit nervous. Also, I respect you guys so much. So I feel like you guys are literally right behind the camera. This is the weave that I spoke about in my previous video that I'm going to cut short. I didn't cut it perfect. I don't want it to be perfect as long as my hair is nice and put together. I will perfect it as I go because I'm not sure about the length. So I cut it here, this size, I think it's like 10 to 12 inch. So that when I want to make it shorter, I will make it shorter. I'm going to start with my eyelids. I'm just going to apply a little bit of eyeshadow. I'm actually going for a soft lamb. But if you know me, I have a heavy hand. My soft lamb always turns out bold. So we'll just see how it comes out. Plus, I haven't been doing makeup in a long time. I haven't even been watching makeup videos, makeup tutorials. So, I'm actually glad that I still have this, okay? 
I still have a touch when it comes to doing my makeup. The eyebrows came out pretty good. I'm happy. Once your eyebrows comes out nice, then you know you are on the right track with your makeup application process. Okay, these questions are very, very basic. Number one, what is your full name? My name on ID, my government name is Chofa Joprecious and Gwana Lekhwati. My surname is Lekhwati. Um, there's a deep meaning behind my name. I am my mother's firstborn child and I'm a girl. So she, I think she was excited to have me. When I did my math, she had me when she was 24 years old. So obviously at the time, she she was probably waiting to have me. So she said, I am her precious blessing. Okay, that's why I call you guys my precious blessings. Because she said, you are my precious blessings. That My precious blessing, that's why I gave you the name. So that's why I'm like, there's a deep meaning behind my name. And my little sister's name, the one that comes up to me is Vasitana. So she was like, when she put puts it all together, she's like, God blessed me with these girls. So Chilofacha means blessing. So she's like, God blessed me with girls. Vasitana is girls. So yeah and then the second question what is your zodiac sign okay let's get let's get into this one let's unpack this okay so i'm going to go with this palette it is from makeup revolution i am obsessed with makeup revolution products they are good the palettes are always creamy the pigment is good so if you are looking for quality beginner friendly makeup products try makeup revolution okay so what is your zodiac sign my zodiac sign, according to the zodiac people, I am a cancer. Unfortunately, I don't really believe in zodiac signs. I don't even follow them. I don't even know what they mean. I don't know what they are. I just know by date because I can't just be ignorant like that. But I don't believe in them. I honestly just believe that my zodiac sign is the cross. Okay? My zodiac sign is the cross. Jesus Christ died for me on the cross and washed away all my sins and he said you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free so i am free i don't want to complicate my life with signs that i don't understand or i don't know where they're coming from anyway i'm not trying to be offensive this is me this is my channel and i am talking about me so if you find this a bit offensive i apologize so let's move do you see how seamless and subtle this looks this is how I like my makeup. This is why I love this palette. My eyes are done. I am obsessed. Quick and simple. So if you know me, I love a good line. I'm going to do a small line eyeliner and then we can continue. I just need to concentrate so I won't be talking. My eyeliner is done. I'm going to perfect it with concealer on the outer corners. So now I'm just going to go in with my mascara. It is from Mr. Price Scarlet Heel. I hate my lashes, you guys. They're so kinky, tangled, short. That's why I was obsessed with lashes when I first started with makeup. But now... I'm learning to love myself naturally. He is my hiding place. Yo, there's this gospel song that I'm obsessed with lately. It's literally on repeat. It's called God Problems by Maverick City. The best song. The lyrics, the message in the song, it's powerful. So it's been on repeat since morning, hence I am still singing it. Eyes are done. Let's move swiftly. The third question, who is your best friend? 
Can I be real with you guys? Can I really be real with you guys? I'm going to go with this primer by Maybelline. I actually want this in a little game at um, Rocking the Daisies event. It is mattifying. It's hot and I applied sunscreen, so I want something mattifying. I want a good base, okay? So, best friend. I don't have a best friend, to be quite honest. And obviously, like, we are not spiritual right now. I would say my best friend is Jesus. But I don't have a best friend. I just have friends. The reason why I don't think I have a best friend is because I have this trait, I have this behavior about me that I actually don't like, where when I face difficult times in my life, I shut everybody out and I go through situations alone. This I realized about me when I lost my mother. I went through the whole mourning period and grieving period on my own i closed and shut all my friends out i didn't talk to them i didn't communicate with them i remember at some point i was even home going through depression and i would just post statuses and they would see that this person is not okay but when they call i would just be like i'm okay all is well so that's something about me that i'm working on and also even when i'm happy i spend most of the time alone i'm used to being alone and unfortunately i don't have that relationship with my little sister way I would say my best friend is my little sister. We are two different people. I am an extrovert. Is it ambivert or in when you are a little bit an introvert and a little bit of an extrovert? So I'm in between. I am an extrovert around the people that I'm used to and I feel comfortable around. And I'm also an introvert when I am not comfortable in a room. So that puts me in the middle. And my sister, she is a complete introvert. She doesn't talk. That kid doesn't talk. So I've tried to like have a relationship with her and open up, but it didn't work out. She's just how she is and I love her and accept her for who she is. So that's why I don't have a best friend. Most of my friends don't even know what I'm going through right now. I Sometimes I do talk. I have one friend who constantly checks up on me. He and I, like, we go deep when we talk. We talk about deep, deep stuff. But we don't call each other every day. We don't even see each other every month. Sometimes we spend maybe six months without seeing each other. And she's in Joburg. I'm in Pretoria. So I would say if I were to choose a best friend, if I were to be put in a corner and say choose somebody, it would be her because she knows a lot more about me than a whole lot of people that are in my life. Okay next we are now going to apply some color corrector i have hyperpigmentation here so i always apply color corrector to hide this dark spot and a little bit under my eyes i'm leaving on eye creams lately so my under eyes have improved a lot and then where's the beauty blender i'm just gonna go with the beauty blender and blend it out and then question number four, how do you feel right now? I have so much peace. That's all I can share. My life is peaceful right now. And I am so calm. That's all I can say. Question number five, what is your current relationship status? I am so much in a relationship, guys. I'm so much in a relationship, so please. I'm not single. I don't like being single. It's just not my thing. I've been with my man. We are doing eight years in Fab. We've had our ups and downs, but we are still doing this he's still holding on so i'm super grateful for that man he's a very supportive partner and that's all i'm gonna say guys i don't want to say much <laughs> okay another question i even forgot what question number we are on 
what is your favorite movie my favorite movie is an old movie it's actually a classic i'm not really a tv or a movie person guys i don't watch tv that much i don't know the latest movies the latest series and stuff mm -mm. i'm very weird hey i'm very weird but i do have a favorite movie it is by jennifer lopez it's called enough the guy was super abusive and she took charge each time i watch that movie it just empowers me so that's why it's like my favorite movie you know she chose her peace and protected herself i think there was a child Ooh, i watched it a long time ago i think she had a child and also she fought she went into training like it's just giving the message to say whatever problems you face take your time train yourself train your mind prepare yourself before you tackle it and that's what she did she went into training like she was learning how to fight and she had really good tricks to fight that abusive partner of hers so that's my favorite movie it's called enough if you haven't watched it you can go ahead and watch it <sighs> how tall are you i don't know the only thing i know is i'm very short i'm very very short guys the people that went to high school with me they know what i'm talking about i'm very short i don't know how tall i am and I don't know if it's something I should be ashamed of. But in all honesty, I don't know. What is your favorite song? My favorite song is a gospel song. It is called So Will I by Hillsong. That's my favorite song. That song carried me through a dark place, guys. When I was grieving the loss of my mother, I played that song on repeat every single day. The message in the lyrics comforted me. Until to this day, when I feel sad about anything, I listen to that song. So I don't really listen to secular music like that because I'm on a journey of taking my relationship with God serious, nurturing my relationship with God, so secular music it's not my thing currently but i would say i was a fan of beyonce i love beyonce a lot i love her music if you guys remember the song called best thing i never had that used to be my jam that song used to be my jam till to this day i still love the song but i don't listen to them anymore i loved the renaissance album as well but now i've changed guys i don't listen to secular music it doesn't i don't get the message and also with the things that they say about beyonce on the internet i don't know if i want to consume that her music like that anymore so yeah i used to be a beehive but i don't think i am anymore I'm a child of the cross right now. Um, name three things you love. Number one, I love God. I love food. I love my man. Name three things that upset you. Number one, not being able to achieve my goals. That upsets me. It doesn't matter the goal. It doesn't matter how big the goal is. If I said today I'm going to shoot this video and I don't, achieve that then i'm going to be upset and people who treat me unfairly or people who would not listen to me when i talk or talk when i'm talking like if you interrupt me while i'm trying to make a point that upsets me it, def it defeats the whole purpose of the conversation i just get upset and then what 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 other thing upsets me i'm a very happy person i don't get upset that easily oh people who drive slow on the road like why are you driving slow okay people who drive slow on a fast lane that thing it puts my mood off i hate i hate that if you know you're going to drive slow why don't you go into a slow lane like it upsets me so bad so yeah i think those are the three main things that upsets me 
it's time for concealer three things that makes you happy spending time with jesus spending time with god makes me happy my family when i'm home i'm the happiest and my man i am that my man that's my man that type of girl if you didn't know so yeah I'm just going to let the concealer to dry a little bit because we want that full coverage. While that is drying, I'm going to go in now with my brush and sharpen the outer corners of my eyeliner. I love doing my makeup standing. I think I, I can do it better when I'm standing than when I'm sitting down. So yeah, don't mind me. I'm not tired. Still very young. I'm still very young. Let's move to the next question. What is your favorite food? My favorite food is anything with meat. I love meat. I can't believe at some point I actually wanted to try being vegan for some time. But I was just being crazy. You see the power of social media. So now anything with meat. I love meat. I love chicken actually. I love chicken. Any dish with chicken, call me in. I honestly didn't take some time to go through these questions first. So I'm a little bit all over the place. It's like interview questions. You don't prep for them. So yeah. Um, don't be surprised when I come and say specifically my favorite dish one of these days. But you will have meat. That's one thing for sure. Who is your celebrity crush? I do have one, you guys. <laughs> I have a celebrity crush. And he's from South Africa. He's from the country. Even my boyfriend knows. <laughs> guys, I love that guy. Sanel Musician. Oh my goodness. That's my celebrity crush. And there's this guy. His name is called Bohang. Bohang Maseko or Moeko, something like that. He's an actor. He's also my celebrity crush. But number one, my number one celebrity crush is Sanel Musician. That guy is so chilled. Like, Hana drama, man. <laughs> Hana drama at all. So, yeah, that's my celebrity crush. If you expected me to say Michael B. Jordan, I'm sorry. I love local. <laughs> How many tattoos or piercings do you have? One thing about me, I don't even believe in tattoos. I don't even have one. I have zero and I don't want one. I will never want one. I know they say never say never, but that's something I'm very sure about. I will never do a tattoo on my body. Okay. Next question. Oh, piercings. I have zero as well. I'm also not a fan of piercings. Unless if we count these ones. But besides that, I have zero piercings. And I don't want them. I feel the same way as with tattoos. Okay. Next question. What are your 10 ops? Lying to me. Don't lie to me. Especially when I know the truth. Don't lie to me. That's a 10 off. Don't use hurtful words when we are in disagreement that turns me off i am very sensitive especially to words don't use mean words when it comes to me just be nice learn to be kind in every situation choose your words think before you say something words like your words will destroy me bruh they sit and i am an overthinker so 
anything you're going to say to me, I'm going to have some time and go through it on my own. Play the scenarios in my head, the things I should have said. And that just puts me off. Don't say hateful things to me. What are your 10 ons? My 10 ons is when somebody just get me. When you just understand, when someone just understands me. Don't get me wrong. These are not based on romantic relationships, even with friends. When you just get me, you know, when you just get me, that's a 10 on, on its own. I don't have to go an extra mile having to make you understand me or who I am or the things that, or how I love or how I do things. I just get turned on when someone just gets me. Even a stranger, when I'm talking to someone and they just understand, I feel like it saves time. I don't have to explain myself that much. So that, it's a turn on. Which do you prefer, scary movies or happy endings? Oh, I don't like horror. Nah. Don't invite me to a horror movie party or horror movie session. I love happy endings. The happily ever after. I think that's why I love like romantic movies. So horror movies are not my thing. They will never be my thing. I'm soft and I'm in my soft girl era. So please take it easy. Take it easy. Okay. I just want to blend this area here. I don't like how it's looking. Like that. Same as on the side. Time to set. I don't know if I should go with concealer under my eyes again. I don't know. I think it's fine though. Let's set this. Now we're gonna go in with these um beauty tools that I got the other day. Do we really run that? Don't but I wanna go to clips. And it's a Sunday. Okay. Ooh, there's the black ones. I actually wanted the black ones. But anyway, let's go with this. This is my banana powder by Makeup Revolution as well. So I'm just going to put that here. And set. While we go and well, while we move to the next question. Which do you prefer, a computer or television? None. I prefer my phone. Honestly. I spend time on my phone. That's why sometimes I would delete certain apps because I think I spend more time on my phone than any other thing on the planet. So yeah. Prefer none. Setting will take your makeup to a whole another level, so you have to be careful. It is the most important stage of your makeup application because you don't want your makeup to be cakey. You don't want your makeup to be to have creases. So you just have to take your time while you do the step, especially under your eyes. This process, it's called... Yeah, it's setting. Sometimes you can bake. Baking is when you apply powder and leave it for some time under your eyes and the highest points of your face. That's baking. I don't bake because I don't like that powdery makeup look. I just feel like I can't bake properly, so that's why I don't necessarily bake. Okay, now that my under eyes are set, I can relax. And then we move this area. These are the highest points of your face, as well as here. You only bake on the highest points of your face, but you apply powder all over your face, the pressed powder, because Anywhere you applied some liquid stuff, you will need to set with powder so that it will not crease. Okay? Don't think about me. I won't get keep. When I know something, 
I'll share with you guys. And it's 2024, we want seamless makeup, okay? I don't want cakey, creasing makeup looks here. This light is too bright, I can't see properly. So if there's any harsh lines, I'm screwed. The ring light that I'm using is too bright. Otherwise, this is how we're looking. Now it's time to set with a setting powder. I'm using this one by Maybelline. And then I'm just going to go in with a brush i'm just going to use this foundation brush next question what is your favorite perfume i love elisa perfume in white this is my favorite luxury perfume i'm sure you guys have seen it before it was quite pricey so I it. I don't want any mistakes. That's my favorite perfume. I love floral scent. So it is very floral and fruity. It smells juicy. It smells like a sweet. It smells like something you'd want to eat. So yeah, that's my favorite perfume. And then when it comes to like affordable um, perfumes, I love Zara perfumes. And this one specifically is my favorite. It's called Wonder Rose from Zara. Luckily, I am right next to my perfumes and I can show you guys. Next question. We are almost done. When was the last time you cried? The last time I cried was... I'm a crybaby. But I don't want to be a crybaby anymore. Especially to situations. You know, it's nice being a crybaby to your man and just nagging and stuff but to like real time situations stop being a crybaby so i've been like that like i cry if someone says something hurtful to me the first thing that comes to mind is cry it out babe so i want to stop that i don't want to cry like that anymore the last time i cried i think the 29 or 28 somewhere there um I had like a little fight with my boyfriend and then I cried. And I told myself that this new year, I'm not going to cry. I had a situation two days ago and I almost cried. And I reminded myself that babes, we said we are not crying over situations, real time situations. You can cry when the pressure is worse, when the pressure is getting worse. But don't make it your coping mechanism, okay? Don't make it your first resort. So that's what I'm doing. The last time I cried was last year, honestly. I know we are 14 days into the year. They say it takes 21 days to build a habit. And I'm getting there. I'm not going to be crying over real-time situations like I used to. And then, can you cook? Oh, I can cook. I'm not a good cook. I'm a, okay, I'm not a good cook. But I know how to follow a recipe. Like, I really know how to follow a recipe. Most of my dishes, they always just come out exactly the way I expect them to come out. So, I would say I can really cook. And my boyfriend enjoys my food. Even at home, they enjoy my food. So, that alone says I can cook. Okay. Next question. Now it's time for contour. We have four left. Do you speak any other languages aside from English? Yes. I speak three languages. Like there's three languages that I'm fluent in. So that's why I'm like I speak three languages. Number one is my mother tongue, Sikidi. And English. Okay, I count again. And English. And Isi Zulu. Yo guys, Minanya Shai Zulu. Oh yes, shy Zulu. Don't even start with me. In school, Miss Zulu, Zuma, I look at her. I'm bullying. Don't be zan kanti guyabi. 
angibuye KZN mina. Angibuye KZN. God like. Yes, shy. I'm talking about. Like, my boyfriend did a pretty good job when it comes to teaching me. Isi Zulu. Unsi Zilu. Mwaba manje, I can speak to... Okay, one more language besides my mother tongue and English. I can speak one more language. And I am confident that I can speak Isi Zulu. So, matlal ngam. Don't come here and ngezilana ukangu uti nanzo guza makul manang ngezulu. Ngang shiv ngezulu sisi nzo gboni so mi ngshol. So yeah, I speak three languages. Sepedi, isi zulu and English. I like isi kosa though. I would like to know isi kosa but maybe God will give me a kosa friend. Or Kanjani, I don't know how I would learn, but yeah, I would like to speak as it goes. Okay. Next question. Do you miss anyone right now? Definitely. I miss my man. I miss him so bad. And I miss my mother. This morning I was going through like a Bible study session and I thought about her. I was like, yo, if she was around he and I, our spiritual, I mean, our relationship would be on another level. Spiritually, she would uplift me. She was a woman of prayer. I need that right now. I miss that so much. So, yeah, those are the only two people that I miss. Then I'm just going to go with this. Just blend it out. I hope my makeup looks good on camera. Okay, I would like... I have harsh lights that you guys can see and I know how disturbing that can be when I watch somebody's makeup video and then I can see harsh lines through camera. I just don't like that. So I hope you guys don't see something like that on camera. Okay. We are almost done. Now it's time for blush. Blush. This blush palette is from Mr. Price. I love it so much. The price did a good thing here. Not so much, just enough, and a little bit on the nose. Yes, yes, girl. Okay. Um, second last question: What is your favorite TV show? I have none. I don't even own a TV at my place. I only watch TV when I'm home. So I don't have one, honestly. I don't have one. Otherwise, the last one says, any question you would like? What question? Okay. The only question now would be, it's not a question, I'll just tell you guys. I... This is not a question. I would just say I'm a born again Christian. I was saved in 2006 when my mom got salvation, when my mom got saved. I think she got saved before us and then I got saved in 2006. I was still very young. I grew up in church and I love Jesus. I love God so much. I don't know any other gods or any other father besides him. He's always been there for me through thick and thin. It's very, very easy to talk to God. You can literally talk to him anytime. You don't need to make an appointment to talk to God. So I am saved and I love God and I love talking about God and I'll always talk about God. So yeah, that's all that I wanted to say. Otherwise, we are almost at the end of the video. I'm just going to finish the rest of my makeup on. I mean off camera and then I'll come and say and then I'll come and close this video
just want to do my under eyes and my lips i want to do my lips on tiktok and instagram because i want to shoot a little uh, version of this video so that i'll encourage them to come and watch this one so yeah this is my favorite lip combo from mr price scarlet heel i love this lip combo i love my lips matte like this if you'd like to go ahead with the lip gloss then you're good to do that otherwise i like it like this thank you so much for watching today's video i hope we now get to know each other better leave a comment in the comment section if you relate with me anyway otherwise i will see you guys next time on my next video bye